a little smack, just a little, you know, smack it. Hey fam. So for today's video, I have a super fun subscription box to share with you guys. It is a brand new subscription box to my channel. What is this subscription box you ask? None other than the brand new Hank and Henry. I am super excited to give this a try. This is a bi-monthly subscription box. It retails for around 41 bucks or so. I'll confirm the price down below with tax and shipping. Hank and Henry is a YouTuber and the products I've seen come out from his line are absolutely beautiful. So this first box is supposed to be some of his absolute favorites, the products that people love so much. And then any subsequent box after this is supposed to be brand new products. So you'll get them about a month before the public can. So that's kind of cool. So I thought this was a pretty exciting new box to try and I can't wait to tap into this with you guys. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the bottom as I always do. I don't take any peaks though. This was very, very tempting. When we open it up, oh, ooh, this is a little tough. All right, so loosening the sides there. When we open it up, it looks just like this. The first thing I see is a little card on top. It tells us what's in the box. And then there's a little note on the back here. It says, my dearest Night Owls. And Night Owls is actually what he calls his subscribers. Words cannot describe how much I appreciate and love you. This first box is our best of Hank and Henry Beauty and will include our top sellers and customer favorites. I'm so excited to start this new journey with you. Much love. And then he's got a little signature here. Good old Hank and Henry. So this is the July box. And let's see what we got. And the top of the box says, be yourself, create magic, pay it forward. We are the Night Owls. This is his company motto. So they're big into philanthropy and being unique and creative. And I just love it. The box is also filled with this little fluffy filling here. So I'm going to take some of this out and we'll look at our first product. The first product I see here is a My Alter Ego eyeshadow kit. It's made in the USA. It is vegan and cruelty free and gluten free. And this first one is in the shade Ms. Red Carpet. So let's see what this color looks like. I'm just gonna take it out of the box. It's got this beautiful border, little owl in the center. And basically this will come with two eyeshadows and then there'll be a loose pigment in the bottom. So this is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a matte medium tone brown and then this pretty rose gold shimmer. And then the bottom, which is sealed, has a rose gold shimmer pigment in it. We're also gonna try these products on so you can see what they look like. Ms. Red Carpet, no man needed and she got bread. The next Ultra Ego eye kit I have is, so this is called the King's Queen. And let's see what colors we have. Again, this beautiful, beautiful packaging. So here the King's Queen, it's got ooh betch and privileged. So if we look inside, oh my God, I got such good ones. I'm so excited. We have this beautiful matte, like burnt orange color, and then a really pretty, like mauve toned shimmer. And then the bottom pigment is a gold shimmer. So we have two eye kits. Let's see if these tell any prices. Okay, so these typically, OMG. These are typically $74 each. Is that, is that for real? Maybe that's for two. So if that's for two, it'd be $37 each, which seems much more reasonable. $74 for three shadows lug. I mean, that's still really highly priced, but much more reasonable than 74, 37. I'm thinking per eye kit. So next we have, this is the Hank and Henry Stick With It. This is actually a dual ended eyeshadow. This eyeshadow, you basically have two sides. You have a very skinny side here, and that's for your lower lashes. And then we have a thicker side here for your top lashes. And then we still have two lip products to check out. So the first one I see is called Do One. This one appears to be a pretty pink color. It's a beautiful, like crystallized, frosted tone. That might be actually a gloss. It's a lip luster gloss. It's absolutely beautiful. This packaging is gorgeous. And there's a little owl on top. So pretty. And then our other color is called Aurel. And this is also a very sparkly pink. And this one is also a lip luster gloss. So I have two glosses. Very pretty. 
Very light pink, which is not a normal color for me, but I bet you it'll be gorgeous. We have one more product. I almost missed one. Ooh. Okay, so this is a lip luster gloss, and this is in Side Chick. Ooh, that is very beautiful. It's like a sparkly copper color. And I originally thought it was supposed to come with like two lipsticks and a gloss. Yeah, two aesthetic matte liquid lipsticks and one lip luster. So I know that they were experiencing a lot of issues with um, more people ordered the subscription box than they had anticipated and so they were a little bit behind. So it may be that they just ran out of the matte liquid lipsticks and so I got three glosses. Which you know, like I'm not the one to get three glosses. I don't even really like gloss that much, but this packaging is absolutely stunning and I have a feeling these are gonna be gorgeous. So we're gonna give them a try. Now let's try them on my face and see how these products look. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into these eye looks now. So I'm gonna do one look on each side. We'll start with the Ms. Red Carpet eye look. And I have some little brushes picked out here. And I just have my rest of my foundation done and my brows, but we're gonna try everything else in this palette. So I'm gonna start on this eye here. And let's see what we should go in with first. Let's try going in with, we're gonna go in with this little brush. I'm gonna tap into this matte brown very, very lightly and tap it off. We're just gonna start in the crease here. I'm just working that through my crease. It's a really pretty color, kind of like a caramelly brown. So quite pretty actually. I'm not seeing any kick up in the pan, I'm not getting a lot of fallout, which is great. So I'll just set that right in the crease. Then I'm gonna go in with this little brush here and just buff this little guy out. And it's nice having such a compact little palette that like, you know, your choices are kind of already made for you, which is always fun. So then I'm gonna go in with a flat brush here and I'm gonna take some of this rose gold color. Ooh. And that is a little chunky. If you're too rough like I just was, it does get a little flaky and a little chunky, but we are gonna be gentle. And we're just gonna put this on the lid. It is a beautiful, beautiful rose gold color. This would be a beautiful palette for work as well. Really easy in the morning, two shades. Okay, and then I'm gonna tap into the bottom, which has this little loose pigment. I'm gonna give it one little tap, get some of that product out, Ooh. and then I'm just gonna coat my brush with this beautiful sparkly pigment. And then, before I make too much of a mess, I'm gonna grab some MAC Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spray my brush. We're gonna go right into the lid. I'm gonna go in the front here. Ooh, that is so pretty. Do you see how that's showing up? The MAC Fix Plus really just made it pop. So pretty. And then we can always go back with a smaller shader, tapered shading brush like this one. And let's go back into that brown color and just kind of deepen up the outer corner a bit. Just kind of to give that a little bit more dimension. Super pretty. I really, really like that. So then on the other eye, we're gonna tap into the King's Queen palette. Have that here. I'm gonna take the same approach. Grab a little tissue and wipe off my brush. Kind of using what's around. And I am going to grab a little bit of this matte, kind of like a burnt orange, like a pumpkin color kind of. And we're just gonna do the same thing with the crease on this side. It's nice and warm, very pretty. I'm just gonna kind of place that in the crease. Another real simple look. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with this little guy and buff it out. I just wanna go back in and touch this up a teensy bit right here where it's not quite blending the way I would like it to. 
just a little bit. Okay, I'll go back and blend that. Okay, then I'm going to take my shader brush again. I'm gonna go into this one dry and just grab a little bit of the pigment. I'm not gonna go in too roughly like I did with the last. I'm just gonna very gently tap it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this all over my lid. Get a little bit more. And this is a really pretty shimmer. Very similar, I'd say, to the other shimmer. And this, it's a bit of a rose gold hue. This one might be a little bit coppery, a little bit more copper. Swatch a little bit on my fingers here so we can get an idea of the difference. So these are the colors here. And if we swatch them, So they are a little different. I'm actually glad to see that. So the top one here is a little bit deeper. The bottom one's a little bit more pink, a little bit more blush. So we will go back into this color. Just kind of spread this on the lid. And then let's tap into this really pretty gold shade at the bottom. So I'm going to give it one little tap, a little smack, just a little, you know, smack it. And woo, it gives us plenty to work with. So I'm going to dip the other side of my brush in here, kind of coat it. Whoa, it is it's a little messy, little messy, but that's okay. Life is messy, so it's okay if our makeup is too. So I'm just gonna, whoop, there we go, give it a squirt. Close that up nice and tight. You wanna be real careful with these because if this comes loose, I mean, you're gonna have pigment everywhere. So I'm gonna be really careful when I store them. So I'm gonna take some of this gold and I'm gonna bring it right into the inner corner. Ooh, she is beautiful. That MAC Fix Plus just makes all of the difference. What a beautiful, beautiful color. And then I'm just gonna go back on the outer corner again with that matte orange shade. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit more dimension. That's a little messier than my first look, but you get the idea. I basically wanted to show you guys what these colors look like actually on the eye, how they apply, and I think they're really pretty. So next we have mascara. So you got this fluffier end, and let's see. I'm just gonna start working this through my eyelashes. And I didn't have any other mascara on today so that I could try this one out with you guys. And it looks like so far it is not making my eyelashes clumpy. It's not too bad. It's not like my favorite favorite mascara, but it's not, it's not terrible by any means. I like that it's, I'm able to like go in and like find each lash, really kind of try to, um, you know, get a nice layer on my lashes with this mascara and it's not clumping, which that drives me crazy. That's the problem I was having with that CoverGirl mascara is when I would try to go back in and, and make sure I was getting each lash, it was clumping up all over the place. And I was not about that life. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other lash. I'm just kind of working it back and forth through my lashes. And really it's, it's even better if you can blink into your mascara. But if you can kind of blink into it, it's supposed to be a really good coat. And I think it allows you to get a little closer to the root. And I am way overdue for my lash lift. And then we'll take the smaller one for the lower lashes. And this little wand is pretty great. Hmm. We'll do the other side. Okay, so we have our mascara on. And then I think with this look, let's try these different glosses. So first I'll go in with the one I would typically pick for this look. 
which would be this little guy. He is in the shade Side Chick. So we have this pretty cool doe foot applicator. It's pretty wide and fluffy. So let's see if we can get some product on here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so at first this wand is like kind of dry and it's not picking up a ton of product, but let's see if we can go in again. It's not sticky at all. And actually it's coming up pretty pigmented. I am having to dip in quite a bit because the wand just does not pick up a ton of product when you first um, dunk it. But you can build it. So I think that's a really pretty color. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. So that is Side Chick, which I think this look is really adorable. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I like it. So if we wipe this off, let's try the other two glosses. And it is just starting to thunderstorm. If you can hear that. Eek. All right. Hopefully I don't lose any power or anything like that. But so we have the next color is called Da One. So we'll see if it's Da One. Okay. Again, we have this kind of iridescence, very dry formula. But like, not sticky. I just wish I could get more product. And like, as I rub it in, my lips feel like they're coated. It just doesn't feel like I'm putting anything on. But I mean, that is a pretty color. I think if I had like a pink or purple eye look, I would really like this gloss because it's pretty chill. Like, it's not anything like real dramatic or like obnoxious colored, but it does have a lot of iridescence. It's pretty, but it's not like your lips are like, boom, you know? So that's the one, which is pretty. Last but not least, we have, um, it's like Oreal. Oh my God. I almost want to take the stopper out of this. I feel like I can't get to the product. So it's very glittery, very iridescent. And the thing I typically don't like about glosses is I just feel like they're kind of like, that they can be like a waste of time. Like if you put them on by themselves, it's like they don't really show up that much, except for that, um, this one really showed up. This had a lot of nice pigment in it. But with these, like, you know, like if you're just putting a gloss on, it's not like you're really getting like the full impact of a lipstick. And if you put it on over a lipstick, you just end up eating it off anyway. And it could make the, your lipstick not wear as well or last as long, which is really pouring. Um, but with it, these at least, like because they do have that iridescence, they're kind of unique. This one has like a blue shift almost. Anyway, that is my little box. So we got the two eye kits, three glosses, and a mascara and again this box will come every other month so i'll have this video out for you guys every other month I'll, I'll find the box for you guys i'll link it all that good stuff i have some homework to do so anyway i'm really excited to finally get to see these products i didn't know which ones i got and i could not have asked for better kits like i love these they're so wearable i can use them for work I can play with them i like that you get so much product in the bottom it really is beautiful with some Mac Fix Plus. And I believe you can also use this as a highlighter. It is very glittery. It would be a very glittery highlighter. So I I probably wouldn't put this on my face. I might put it like on my body though. I feel like you did it on like a shoulder. Do you have like a glitter moment? If you guys can see that, I'm not sure if you can. Shake a, shake a shoulder at you guys. I mean, you could always do like a little body glitter or something like that. Personally, 
I would put these products on my eye, you know, maybe a halo. I just kind of did them in the inner corner tonight just so I could show the shimmer, the other shimmer on the outside and just feature the matte a bit. So I would have to play around with these, come up with some different looks. Can even use these with other, whoa, see, I just did it. Make sure that's closed. I just dumped gold on the desk where Doug has to work tomorrow morning. <laughs> like, enjoy some glitter, baby. So anyway, <laughs> on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess up um, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I missed you so much. I did film over the weekend, but the video is so long and it's a little bit, it needs a little TLC. So I was like, instead of messing with that forever, I'm gonna film again. I have some more videos to share with you guys. So I will get that out to you eventually. So just a little get ready with me, nothing too special. So anyway, I'd love to know if you guys are interested in the Hank and Henry box, if you got it as well, what you're thinking of the products. This was my first try ever with any of his products. And um, I'm intrigued, you know, I'm, I'm intrigued to try some different things. I do like the little eye kits. I think they're interesting and fun. Um, I don't know that I would spend 30, oh my Lord. I don't know that I would spend $37 for them, especially since they keep opening up all by themselves because it's just three colors really. It just seems a little pricey, but at the same time, for six products for 40 something bucks, that I'm okay with. That's like eight bucks a product. I think this is a good value. This is the way I would want to try them. I do think these glosses are really unique in the fact that they have this fun iridescent quality. I think they'll be really beautiful actually. And like, like the way it's showing up on camera, I think it's got a little bit more punch than a lot of glosses I've tried. So I like that. I like a little bit of, you know, a little something, something. I'm not trying to be here to be all basic. You know what I mean? I need obviously a little bit more time with these. I need more experience with his products, but I was so excited to try a brand that was new to me that I hadn't really heard a lot about before BoxyCharm. I was excited to try this new box. It was fun. So if you guys know of any other cool subscription boxes, I currently do Allure and BoxyCharm. I've been watching Ipsy. I'm kind of on the fence. I think it's really kind of similar to BoxyCharm, but I tend to like BoxyCharm's products better. So I'm not sure about Ipsy, but maybe. Allure has been interesting because you do get some full-size products. I love the brow guy. I still wear it every single day. I got that in my Allure Beauty Box. I have been trying that Moroccan oil in my hair. I have a lot still to try. Oh, and I really like their little, that little small can, the dry uh, shampoo. I love that. I think it's really travel friendly and yeah, so I mean, I've been happy with the product so far. It's been interesting to discover new brands and such. And so, but let me know if you guys have heard of some cool subscription boxes that you'd like to see. Um, I've heard of like one other one recently that I'm intrigued by. So we'll see, we'll see what I do with that. But anyway, till next time guys, I wanna talk your ear off. I could go here all night and just be hanging out with you guys. So anyway, I love you. I hope you had a really great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.